Hey guys, I wanted to show off a collection that I got today. It's a Pokemon collection, not a Meta Zoo collection, but just to show you how far a dollar in the collectible market goes. Pokemon obviously down right now. Uh, so the amount I paid was 2,500 cash. Uh, the exact amount was 2,000 Zell, 500 cash, and then free ETBs free evolving sky ETBs, which we put at 80 or $90 a piece, um, like just a little extra bonus to get it across the line. Um, I'm going to show you some of the really cool cards that I got. Uh, most of this collection was pulled. So the person who got them pulled the collection. A lot of really beautiful Charizards. Here is evolutions, of course. Uh, one Lily, Shauna, I don't have Shauna, so that's cool. KFC Charizard, no idea, this card is worth a little bit of money. I think it's only in Indonesia. I did do a little bit of research on it because I didn't realize there was a KFC set. Lugia, this is what I want you guys to know. This artwork compared to MetaZoo is just so beautiful. I mean, you can't compare Meta. I mean, are you kidding me? The artistic skill is very high. You know, this is an, a, a, an actual artist made this, not Rudy's kid, right? And it's it's going for like about a hundred. A lot of these cards are going for a hundred dollars. The real money is buying collections. That's what Alpha Investments does, but he doesn't want anyone else to do it because then you would be competing against him. No, buying sealed boxes, no one in their right mind would invest in that. Having invested in sealed boxes myself, I can tell you it's so stupid compared to buying singles, right? Buying collections because you can sell off a piece of this collection. So this is part of it. I'm going to show you the binder. and So this is the part that I would probably put, you know, like, yeah, these are the Charizards. Yep. The, they're all really, really good minty. There's a base Charizard that's that's kind of not in the best condition. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool collection. In today's marketplace, you can do very well for yourself as long as you didn't buy Rudy, $700, 6.9. You didn't, you avoided the first edition Monarch Fab disaster, Rudy pumping that set. Now Fab doesn't even want him around. Um, also, yeah, this is kind of cool. It's got yeah, also just a random Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'll keep showing it to you. Um, he threw in these as an extra, right? So they're, they're actually worth like a hundred dollars in good condition. Okay, so Tyranitar, this is an eighty-dollar card. It's a really cool card. Machamp, Pikachu, uh, CD promo, Rainbow Charizard, Stellar Brazen. Look at that Zard, shiny Zard, Rayquaza, a lot of Giovanni's Charm, Agatha, Pokemon Lady. I mean, this is a beautiful, I, I love it, man. Shiny Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza, Rayquaza, Vaporeon, Erica's Invitation, Bridget, Marnie, big fan of Marnie. Uh, and that's basically about... 3,000 retail is what I showed you with the gold cards. And that's when I stopped calculating because I was like, you know what? That's probably break even and let's just grab dinner. So I was with my girlfriend making the deal and she loves the cards as well. I'm just going to show you what else. So instead of buying, I mean, this all this was, in my opinion, I paid like $40 for those ETBs. So like 120, let's call it 2,700 cash. 2,700 cash is all in. Um, this is just random stuff that he had, and this and this is the stuff that she likes, right? I don't, I haven't checked on these Pikachu's, but I have a lot of Pikachu promos, and often Pikachu promos are surprisingly expensive depending on what they are. Here's more Zapper doses, Sneasels. Uh, there was a lot of cold cards, and you know, um, not too much. This is uh, celebrations, obviously, right? I know that set very well. He opened a lot of packs, um, so there's a little bit more value in this. Obviously, the two giant cards. 
a little bit of value in that. Um, Relu, there's a Relu here. There's some full art. So again, not anything crazy value bowl, but uh, that's the rest of this. And then I'm gonna show you the other binder. The Gengar binder is pretty cool. Girlfriend likes the big Gengar binder. Uh, oh yeah, this is the other stuff. So for very cheap price today, if you can afford it, uh, my advice would be, yeah, it's definitely, there is a massive glare. Um, it's definitely worth buying it if you can afford it right now. Because the price, like as long as you didn't buy any of Alpha Investments investments in, uh, in his kits, um, you can buy this for 20, let's just, let's be fair to him, $2,700. You can get all this, right? Uh, so all the cards I showed you, plus all this, and there's some bulk, there's a lot of, there's bulk, right? There's, unfortunately, Shaman's a little damaged. Uh, I'll try to point out something that is, uh, let's see, Tag Team, or Shinran, Pikachu, Gyarados, Secret Rare. Oh, oh here's a um, all art that I forgot of. It's not that valuable. Uh, a lot of uh, this type of stuff, not super valuable. Oh, old school stuff. Again, I don't really know. I mean, there's a Dark Dragonite there in probably pretty good condition. There's a Cypher from Base Set 2. There's an Articuno and probably not great condition. Yeah, I can see it from here. We'll talk about the Vintage. Oh, there's a Lugia. Let's check the Lugia. Lugia. Eh. I mean, it's okay. It's not great. And it's not first edition, but it's okay. Got a little bit of... Here's the Free Legendary Bird. Or free legendary dogs, I should say. And I gotta check their condition too. I haven't checked any of these cards yet. But these are shinies, actually. The shinies. And then there's the anti. I believe the anti is a shiny anti too. Yep. People love their shinies. There's some more Rayquazas, some more Dragon Knights, more Charizards, of course. More Charizards. Mew. Uh, Mewtwo, I don't know which is a promo, which is not. I think both might be promos. Uh, Charmander, Char... Mewian, a bunch of Charizard promos. Dark Tyranitar, Blastoise Base Set 2. Uh, I don't know, gold cards? Pikachu V gold card? Don't, no idea if these are worth money. Uh, 151, Arceus, these are... And I, I actually have some Digimon cards. I think that's it. Oh no, there's some other energy. So I don't know what this is. Bubble Mage. Hmm. Maybe someone can tell me. Bubble Mage. Oh, Grand Archive. Okay. No idea. It, okay, I mean, I got Shine Greymon. got some other Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the back. Snorlax, Mewtwo, Wigglytuff. And that's it. So... Pretty good, I think, for the amount I paid. Anyway, bye guys.